been with Gory for 33 years since the farm's inception and I'm a horseman. One of my more significant roles is I'm the midwife on the farm. I deliver the babies here from late July through till probably about mid-November. And then over the years, I perhaps have delivered over 3,000 horses here. Some of them famous, some of them not so famous. The headliner would of course be our great champion, Desert War, who is four generations gory homebred. So I fold him and I fold his mother and his mother's mother. And we had the champion filly Tempest Morn and Speak Fondly recently, and of course, prized icon who won the VRC Derby. After the mares have finished foaling, I move into the yearling preparation and preparing them for either the breaker or for the sale ring. The yearlings are, are growing, they're still a little woolly from the winter, but they're coming into their own now. And the, the grandmas and the grandpas on this farm have a really important role. Desert War's a grandpa. But one of our most special grandmas is the Grand Matriarch Explosive. She's the mother of Northern Meteor and the grandmother of Smart Missile, who was personally my favourite horse ever bred on this farm. And I had quite a, a special relationship with that horse. And she's a breed shaper. She's changing the breed uh, explosive between her sons, her grandsons, her daughters and her granddaughters. Her line will live on forever. She's a very special mare and we are so privileged to have her still with us. And she's still working at the age of 27. She's looking after the, the yearling fillies and perhaps is a champion of tomorrow in those paddocks. Well, Vicky really is the life and blood of Gouri, really. Um, she's been here since the inception. She's dedicated her life to Gouri. Um, she lives and breathes the horses and loves them like their, her own children. And um, she's really part of the Gouri family and the Kawanko family. Prized icon winning the Victoria Derby recently was a highlight for all of us here on the farm. He's three generations homebred from a particularly lovely mare on the farm who's a favourite of everyone. And it was a culmination of many, many generations of work. And when those red and black colours go across the finish line, it's everything to everyone who works on this property. And with the involvement of James Cummings, particularly with the family tie-up through Monica, it was extremely special. And he's a very special cult, and I'm just so proud to have been able to show him to you today. To be a finalist in the Godolphin Stud and Stable Staff Awards is amazing. I was very lucky I was a finalist last year, and to be nominated again by Mike and Tina, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Kawanko's daughter and son-in-law. It was a real honour and um, it's lovely to be able to sort of represent people in this industry as well, particularly the foaling. It's very unheralded, it can be socially isolating and these girls, mainly girls who do this job, are the unsung heroes because without them following your mares, there are no thoroughbred racehorses. And it's such an important job. So it's nice for that. It's wonderful acknowledgement for the work with the farm. And it's lovely for me. And I'm so proud to have been nominated as a finalist.